executive director of the Freelancers Union. We represent freelancers across all New York State and across the country. Uh, we're really proud to be here today uh, with Senator Gernardis, with Senator Bronson, who have, uh, are leading the fight here in the, in the Capitol to ensure that all freelancers across the state of New York get paid. Uh, this is a, a, uh, an important moment for freelancers across all different industries uh, because we can't tell you enough how many times we hear from our members about the fact that they have not gotten paid for work they've completed. Uh, it was especially true during the pandemic uh, when, uh, there were, when, the, when the pandemic struck and we saw shutdowns uh, across the entire state. Uh, there were members who were not being paid for work that they completed in December, Fe January, February of that month. And those clients were using the pandemic as an excuse as why these workers were not being able to get paid for the work they've done. I think it's all fair for us to say that no matter what type of work you're doing, uh, whether you're a traditional employee, whether you're an independent worker, uh, everyone deserves uh, to get paid for the work that they complete. Uh, that I think is a fair standard, right? That should be that should be available to everyone and anyone, no matter what type of work you're doing. Um, I want to acknowledge all of the great labor leaders uh, across the from who are representing independent workers and creatives uh, here in the state of New York. We have Larry Goldbetter, one of our strongest allies and champions for the National Writers Union. We have Mary Rassenberg, the CEO of the Harpers Guild. We have Travis Keyes, chair of the New York chapter of American Photographic Artists. We have Rebecca Blake, advocacy chair of the Graphic Artists Guild. We have Mike Stafford, president of Teamsters 503. Uh, we have Assemblyman Eric Lalon, uh, who is here with us, represents the neighborhood of Bushwick and East New York. So with that said, I would like to call up uh, Senator Bernardes to uh, say a few words uh, with the main sponsor of the bill on, on the Senate. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is State Senator Andrew Bernardes, and I'm so proud to join this incredible and powerful statewide coalition to launch what we are calling the Freelance Isn't Free Bill. Uh, this is a problem that affects hundreds of thousands of workers across the state of New York and millions of people, frankly, across the country. The very fact that 71% of freelancers report that they are not paid on time, that 60% of freelancers report that they don't get to work with a contract, they don't even have rights to enforce when they have their wage stolen from them, when they have people that hire them not honor their commitments and their obligations. This is a big problem, and this honestly is the right moment to be launching this campaign because as we're seeing across the country, this is the era of the worker. Whether you are trying to unionize at Starbucks or, or, or fight for your rights at an Amazon warehouse, or you're someone who provides a service for someone else and you are not getting paid for it, all workers in all industries, no matter what your status is, deserve to have rights, deserve to get paid, deserve to not have your wages stolen deserve to have the dignity that comes with the work that they provide. And so as we're seeing the, the conversation happening across the country about the empowerment of workers, the resurgence of the worker movement across every single industry, it's incredibly important that we are introducing this legislation here today because this fight to protect the rights of freelance workers, to say that freelance work is not free, is just another front in the battle to empower people who are trying every single day to earn a living for themselves and their families and to do right by them. So I'm so proud to be able to sponsor this legislation in the Senate. We are building on a model that has already been implemented in New York City quite successfully, thanks to the work of the incredible, the incredible coalition of freelancers in New York City. Now it's time to take the state, the fight statewide. Uh, and I'm really proud and honored that I'm gonna be doing this, carrying on this fight with my colleague from Rochester, Assemblymember Bronson, who has been talking about these issues, by the way, and working on these issues for nearly a decade, if not more. So this fight, this coalition, this bill might be new, but Harry Bronson is not new to this fight, and I'm so excited that we're partnering together as some to carry this this year, and I feel very confident that together with this coalition that we've assembled behind us, that we are going to make 2022 the year that we say, with one voice, that freelance is not free. So I'm in. Woo! 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 Thank you, Senator, and thank you all for being here today. You know, um, prior to becoming an assembly member, I was a, a, a workers' rights attorney, a, a labor attorney, and, and 
you know, there's a lot of laws out there that protect workers, um, and we've got to make sure they're enforced, but, but those laws are limited because they protect traditional workers. They protect workers who are defined in law as employees, and there is not currently statewide a mechanism for freelance workers to be able to enforce their rights against uh, contractors who refuse to pay, pay late, want to change the terms on the agreement, and things of that nature. This bill is overdue. In 2011, the Assembly passed uh, a similar bill um, to this. Uh, we passed it from 2011 to 2014, but we weren't able to get it over the hump. And the reason we weren't able to get it over the hump, in large part, is because the majority was in the Republican hands in the Senate, uh, but aside from that, we didn't have this kind of support. Look at the support standing behind me. You know, you have union support, you have worker support, and as the Senator mentioned, there's a movement happening now. There is a workers' rights movement. There is a movement that is saying, no longer, no longer are we going to put up with being disrespected. No longer are we being going to put up with having our work not valued under the law. This bill will change that. This bill will give freelance workers the right to make sure that their contract is in right. Make sure that they're gonna get paid no less than 30 days after the work is done or under the terms of, of the contract. Make sure that they can go to the commissioner of the Department of Labor and say, here's a complaint. Bring a claim, collect on my wages. Make sure that they too can go directly to court and say, I have this claim, and then have it enforced. And, and as a disincentive to the hiring individual, the hiring agent, if you don't pay on time, if you don't follow the contract, not only are you gonna pay me the wages you owe me, but you're gonna double it. And there's gonna be civil penalty and there might be criminal penalties. So we have a mechanism that's put in place that is going to make sure that we say all work deserves pay. All work deserves pay. Freelancers deserve pay. So honored to be with the Senator, so encouraged that he is picking this up and taking the lead, and I'm honored that he reached out and asked me if I would carry the bill with him. So we look forward to working with all of the folks behind us to get this over the finish line. Thank you. Thank you again so much for both of you for your support. I also want to acknowledge uh, that we have some early supporters like Senator Jessica Ramos, uh, who's committed to support this bill, and Assembly Member Latoya Joyner as well. Um, with that said, I would like to call up uh, my brother in this fight, Larry Goldbetter of the National Writers Union. millions of dollars for unpaid freelancers, uh, having no contractual relationship with the publishers, and uh, you know, by either going through expensive court cases or pressuring the publisher uh, through mass action. Uh, but what's even more striking than the millions we've collected is the hundreds of millions we've been unable to collect. This is the business model for freelancers, not payment and late payment. And the freelancers of free will make that illegal. And that's why we're fighting so hard for it. And we have proof that it works. In New York City, more than $2 million have been collected for freelancers. And as we speak, the city of New York has filed a case against Lofa Seal, a uh, publisher of a culture fashion magazine. 30 freelancers are owed $100,000 plus a $25,000 fine for violating regularly the freelancers and free law. So we know that this works, and having it statewide would be a tremendous addition for freelancers, not just in New York, but well beyond New York. So thank you, and I'd like to introduce another 
strong supporter of this, Mary Rathenberger, the CEO of the Authors Guild. Thank you. Um, thank you. This is such an important, important bill that you guys are making. And I can't tell you the fear that we have in this day and age as photographers. I speak from the heart, very emotional. That it is hard to find a job now. It is even harder when big companies say, we're gonna pay you on that 30, 60, 90 days. And it's usually the bigger companies that do that. And then somehow in the 90 days, oh, the accountant was out, this happened or that happened. And we have no protection to go after that. Simple protections that we should be paid for our hard work. Because I guarantee you they wanted that work the next day for their social media, the next day, and we provided it. And what happens is we get scared. We get scared that if we keep bothering them to get paid, what is going to happen is they're going to not hire us. They're going to hire someone else. So I thank you for this and how important it is. And let's fight together. We have Rebecca Blake, advocacy chair of the Gardner's Artist Guild. Hello, everyone. Uh, on behalf of graphic artists, illustrators, designers, web designers, cartoonists, animators, service and textile designers, we really want to thank Senator Bernardis and Assemblyman Bronson for introducing this important legislation. From Syracuse University to RIT to our excellent state universities, to the downstate New York City schools, such as Pratt School of Visual Arts, Cooper Union, Parsons, the New School, and FIT. New York has established itself as a hub for innovation and talent in visual arts. We have one of the highest concentrations globally of professional designers and illustrators, as well as media companies, publishers, and industries which rely on the labor of these creative professionals. And yet our freelancers still encounter delays in payment, non-payment, and excuses for why they should be paid less. Travis summed it up beautifully. This is exactly what we are enduring. It is death by a thousand cuts. At the time the 2017 Freelance Is It Free Bill was passed in New York City, a study showed that the average freelancer lost about 13% of their income 
from delayed payment and non-payment. 13%. The average illustrator is worth 45,000 per year. There's no wiggle room. How fitting would it be if New York State implemented the freelance is free legislation? It's about time. CIBT, Graphic Communications Conference of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, is committed to ensuring that all workers are treated fairly. This is why we fully support Common Sense uh, Freelance Freelances in a Free Act, which ensures that freelancer workers are paid for the work they do on time. Our, brother, uh, our brothers and sisters in the National uh, Writers Union are working tirelessly to support and promote freelance workers. Our union knows that when any workers are treated unfairly, that all workers are at risk. Therefore, we ask the legislator for quick passage of uh, this vital important piece of legislation. Thank you. And I would like to also thank the uh, Senator and Assemblyman. Uh, I've worked a long time with uh, Assemblyman Bronson and know how hard he fights for, uh, for organized labor and labor in general. So thank you both. Madison, who run advocacy groups in Buffalo and uh, New Rochelle. Thank you for joining us as well. Uh, with that said, any questions? <laughs> 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 